There's what are called the elements of a dispensation, all right? Let me make this big enough where we can see it, okay? The elements of a dispensation. Uh, share screen, please. Oh, I'm not sharing it. Okay, I'm gonna have to make it bigger. All right, elements of a dispensation. Okay, there's an event. There's a human responsibility. There's a human test. There's a human failure. There's a divine judgment. And then this one's in brackets. There's a display of divine grace. Divine grace. Okay. So, y'all just said that the event that begins the dispensation of innocence, okay? So we're talking about mm -hmm. innocence. The event y'all said was creation. Okay. What was the human responsibility in the dispensation of innocence? Again, please. What was the human responsibility in the dispensation of innocence? What to did God creation. What? To rule the creation. Yes, to rule the creation. Okay, good. And uh, there's a lot involved in that. Be fruitful, multiply, subdue the earth. They're to represent God as the image of God. But yes, the primary idea is to rule. Good. What was the test? The test that the human was given. What is the test? The test of human, the... The free will. Okay, what about free will? The, 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 their will, their, their action, their, how, they, how they rule the creation. Okay, the human responsibility is broad, but the test is specific. Okay, um, let, me let me explain it like this. You have a human test, right? But in this one, you also have the serpent temptation. Oh, you meant to. Ah, okay. Okay. So what was the human test? What did the serpent tempt Adam and Eve to do? Again, please. What did the... What did the serpent tempt Adam and Eve to do? To sin. Yes, but to how? You're right, Stacy. But how? Yes, my sister is here helping me. Okay, cool. <laughs> we should listen. In. Cool. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that's great. How? You said how? Yeah. How, how did the serpent tempt Adam and Eve? Confuse them. How? To put, to put uh, to, yeah, to put a doubt. About so, what? About, about, uh, temptation about the food. The <laughs> fruit, tree. Oh, yes, the fruit. The oh, my tree. sister saying. <laughs> You're right. So the, just the destroy fruit. the, yeah. Okay. So the test was, God said, you may freely eat of the tree, but don't eat of this other tree or you're going to die. That was the test. And that's what the serpent used as an opportunity to tempt them was that okay all right so what was the failure failure what, what was the human failure in other words how did adam and eve fail they eat the fruit. Yes, they ate. 
okay? There's more that can be said, but yeah. Okay. What was the judgment? Uh, get out from the garden. Okay, so they were expelled. Okay, anything else? What did God tell the serpent? He is going to uh, what? that's what let's look at the let's look at the passage. Okay, great. Okay. So God is holding them accountable, right? Start reading at 14. Hello? Yeah. Uh, Stacy, you want to read? Okay. Uh, the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, curse are you more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field on your belly you will go and thus you will eat all this all days of your life and i will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed he shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel so to the, the woman the serpent is is cursed right yes. and and there's yeah. a conflict and uh, this is talking about how the serpent will be defeated. Okay. Sixteen. To the he to the woman he said, "I will greatly multiply your pain in the childbirth. In pain you will bring forth children. Yet your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you." Okay, so that's what he told the woman, you know, that you're going to have pain, but you're at least going to have children, and you're going to mm -hmm. want to overthrow your husband, but he's the one that has spiritual headship mm -hmm. over you. Okay. Okay, 17. Then to Adam he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and you have eaten that from that tree about which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat from it. Curse is the ground because of you. In toil, you will eat of it all the, all, day, all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles, thistles it shall grow for, for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face, you will eat bread. Till you return to the ground, because from it you are taken. From your, from you are dust, and to dust you shall return. You shall return. Okay. So you kind of usually have the judgment on the serpent, the woman, the, the and the man or the ground. Okay. Mm. So all that is involved there, right? Also, whenever they ate of the fruit, their eyes became open, they knew that they were naked and they hid from God. And they tried to cut